The Electric Light Orchestra. Excuse me for a second. It's um, 21 to 7 and the phone is ringing. Hello, who's there? It's Doug Mulray, Triple M. Good job, on me. Oh. Je m'appelle Gloria. Gloria. Le plume de ma tante est dans le vache vert. Uh, the pen of my aunt is in the green cow. Did I translate that correctly, Gloria? Uh, I think you're right. Uh, Kurt's been fooling with my French vocab again. Uh, oh, he thinks he's such a wag. Oh, it's awful when your vocab's interfered with, isn't it? Uh, it is, it is. How's his gardening going, old uh, Keith? You mentioned a little while ago, about a week ago, he was producing some prize-winning marrows. Well, in a roundabout way, hmm? that's why I was calling. Yeah. You, of course, will be aware that uh, yesterday, May 1st, Yes. ...was designated Save a Finger, Save a Thumb Day. Yes, I read that, yes. I was looking forward to it. You know, I mean, it's going to be a highlight. I remember lying in bed with Elizabeth in the middle of the night over the weekend, unable to sleep with the excitement. You may not believe that, Gloria. I do. May 1st, I said, is Save a Finger Day. Save a Finger, Save a Thumb Day, Lizzie. God, I hope I'm up to it all. It's a very important issue, Duck. More than 30% of all industrial injuries are yes. the hands, the fingers, and the arms. Amazing. Doug, have you ever contemplated life without fingers? It's a grim thought, Gloria, and I'm telling you that for nothing. But, but, but what's this got to do with Keith's marrows? I mean, we're talking industrial injuries here all of a sudden. Well, you know how elaborate Keith could get. Yes. He loves gadgets. Mm -hmm. If you could stick a battery in it or plug it into a socket, Keith's got to have it. Yes, yes. Uh, we've got a few appliances at home, actually. That yes. He's actually formed emotional as well as physical attachments to it. Yes, I'd rather not go into that if you don't mind, Gloria. Well, <laughs> Anyway, anyway, Keith decided to mechanise the whole gardening system. There's a system of ropes and pulleys. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it worked off an old, uh, an old lawnmower engine, you see. Really? Look, the idea was, as soon as the marrows had matured, mm -hmm. he'd just throw a switch yep. and they'd be hauled from the ground with ropes. I see. Was it an old two-stroke or a four-stroke? I think it was a two-stroke. I would have thought Keith was a two-stroke man, yes. Yes, yes. Sounds brilliant, though, really. Yeah. It was a total disaster. Oh. While I was out, he, he decided it was harvest time. Mm. So we fired up the old two-stroke. Yes. And he released the main rope. Well, there was a knot in it. Mm. Of course there was. His finger got caught. Before he could say, Ugh, he'd been hauled off the ground. Mm. Then one of his legs got caught. His neck got tangled up. Oh, dear, could he breathe? As usual, no. Oh, dear. I arrived home to find him blue in the face. You know that lovely azure colour he goes. The lapis lazuli, yes. yes. Suspended in midair with a prize-winning marrow being slowly hauled towards him from behind. <laughs> oh, dear. Did you help him down? No, I couldn't. Uh. I was too fascinated. We shouldn't laugh, should we? we sh I shouldn't, but I was just so fascinated. Yes, to Gloria. It was in the spirit of scientific inquiry, Doug. Oh, dear. I'd be the first person to witness the forced meeting of man and marrow. Yes, was Keith all right? I mean, after the, uh, the, the meeting? Oh, he was fine. Yes. He was fine after a bit of mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Goodbye, Gloria. There's only one problem. Mm -hmm. We had to destroy the marrow. How sad.